Good day, and welcome to Trusting God at All Times, a daily devotion of Peakland United Methodist Church in Lynchburg, Virginia. My name is John Vest, and I'm one of the ministers here at the church. I can't speak for you, but I like those pithy little sayings. You know, that nugget of truth that puts life into perspective. Those little sayings that help us remember what is important. For example, people think it's in the Bible, but it's actually in the Bible according to Ben Franklin. God helps those who help themselves. Still, when you consider how prayer and faith work, how our prayers need hands and feet, and our faith ought to call us to action, it is good advice. My father used to say, He who expecteth nothing, receiveth nothing, and thus is never disappointed. That's a little too sour for me, but at the same time, Dad really was a happy man, and I think his happiness may have been grounded in his ability to not let things disappoint him. A lot of my friends post these sayings online, and I've collected just a few for today's devotion. A clergy colleague posted this Irish blessing. There are good ships and wood ships, ships that sail the sea. But the best ships are friendships, and may they always be. Liz is a good friend. A newer member of our church who has insight into healthy relationships as a therapist, she posted, Everything we say at funerals should be said at birthday parties instead. We leave so much unspoken. Words do have power. Why do we withhold them? One of the lay leaders of our church had this to say, It doesn't matter how old you are or where you come from, manners, kindness, respect, and compassion will always be signs of a decent human being. Call me old-fashioned. But I think that's true. One of my dearest friends here posted this reminder, Muddy water is best cleared by leaving it alone. If you've ever had someone transfer their emotional baggage onto you and start blaming you for what is in essence their fault, you know how true that can be. And my favorite especially during this week of great athletic achievements. If you feel useless today, remember, somebody is working as a lifeguard at the Olympics. Now, I know why a lifeguard is still necessary at the most elite levels of competition, but come on, that's funny. And so I leave you with this thought. It was Jesus who said, all that is law and prophecy can be summed up this way. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, and your neighbor as yourself. And even that can be shortened to a pithy little six-word statement. Do justice. Love kindness. Be humble. That's not too much to remember, is it? Then, so let it be. Amen. Amen.